our prayers and hopes go to the people in Florida that are suffering, but also to the wildlife, the fish, you know, the Corexit member of the Gulf of Mexico when they hit them with the lasers back then. And now there's watch this video and think about all the fish that were there. Think about what happened to all the wildlife undersea. These are criminal acts being conducted with geoengineering. And you can look at the devastation, the before and after pictures. And him, there's an image you can see. Uh, this is from the 26th when the attacks on Florida began. And these are all pulses from the NEXRAD, Next Generation Radar. These are all the Doppler radars that are being activated in order to activate the occurrence down here in Florida. And look at all these pulsing events. I mean, this is prime evidence that this is an attack on Florida being engineered by the geoengineers. And here is the whatever you want to call them, the flectus fuctus clouds that are coming over. This is over Miami, and you see the roll clouds here with all packing all this energy, and then they're blocking. You see the sun, the blue sky behind it. This is completely a geoengineered event that is killing people, killing all the ocean, killing the fish. This is planned. This is murder. This is genocide. And they also like to put it in your face. See the little face here? Hey, we're coming after you. And their little CGI imagery, CGI, computer graphic imagery. And this is inside a, <clears throat> excuse me, home in, in uh, Fort Myers. And the water's coming through the door lock, which is about three feet high, let's say. And then check out this view from the window when they show the windows that the water is that high. Look at the water outside and someone's in their home, and if that water opens up, what's going to happen to the people in the homes? Are they going to be able to get out? They're stuck. This is an engineered event, folks. And this is Charlotte Harbor, I think, taken from yesterday. And this is a new phenomenon, as the water has just sucked all the water out of the Gulf of Mexico. Check out this video. All right, 6 p.m. update. Palm Harbor, Florida. Gulf of Mexico. Okay, 12 hours now. There is no water in the Gulf of Mexico. This is something I've never seen. I sure hope it doesn't come back all at once. But I tell you, this is bizarre. Millions and millions of gallons of water have just disappeared. They're probably all sitting in somebody's town down south. But I can tell you, I could literally walk half a mile out there. I won't do it because it's probably pretty soft. I won't do it. And not even see water. Anyways, usually, as I said, water is up to the line on the wall and it goes to Texas. I could probably walk halfway to Texas. So uh, I just hope it doesn't come back all at once. Uh, that could be a little scary. I mean, usually, I mean, you can't see all the way, but it's, it's miles and miles of just grass, seagrass. Uh, I'll update again, but there are billions of gallons of water that uh, need to come back. Stay safe, everybody. Update probably tomorrow, because once it gets dark, I won't be able to show anything. Over and out. And also, at the same time, we had the Nordstrom over in Europe uh, tax, allegedly, that's causing the gas and energy prices to again seeing spiking and they're blaming it on the u.s it's just going to get more of a shit stone folks just get ready but um say your prayers please for the people in florida and all the wildlife too we forget about all the uh, flora and fauna that's being affected by these massive geoengineering events and if you want to learn more about geoengineering um, I've got my free book on PDF, Bye Bye Blue Sky Illustrated, which gets into depth about how they're doing it, who they're doing it, the patents, uh, all the different variations they're using for all the different applications they have. Um, it includes uh, the sucking out of the water is a new one, but it's not surprising um, what they're doing. They have the technology to do it, which I chronicle in this book, with also 100 years of weather modification patents for anyone that says it's not happening. Think again. All right, stay strong, stay safe. Peace and love you all.